The overall goal of my research is to be able to determine which shrubs in the desert chaparral transition are most susceptible to mortality by drought. And this desert to chaparral transition is a vegetation type where the coastal shrublands of California meet the Mojave Desert. And it's a really interesting vegetation margin because a lot of species there are at the edges of their ranges. And so there's a lot of potential for slight changes in climate to cause differences in species composition, which could in turn have effects on the water cycle. Now, as we know in Southern California, water is a big issue. It's often scarce and we've gone through some serious droughts in the past couple of years. So understanding how changes in species composition caused by climate change could affect water cycling in these systems is really important. With the differences in, in rooting depth or differences in the way species transpire water, differences in leaf area coverage um, that could be caused by changes in climate, there's a lot of potential for these systems to, uh, to experience really big changes in the way that they cycle water. And that could have effects for um, what comes out of streams and how much water is recharging our aquifers on that side of the mountains. So um, in terms of water outputs for uses for society, um, this could have really important implications. I've met with people at the uh, Metropolitan Water District that are very interested in this research and how changes in the plant community could affect water cycling and recharge of aquifers. They're very interested in that. Um, even a basic knowledge of how much water these different types of desert chaparral or um, intermediate shrubs um, transpire um, during a season are, are things that we really don't know. And given that, that some similar relatives from these desert and chaparral shrubs are be, now being used in um, urban landscaping, understanding the water use characteristics of these species would also be helpful for um, planning how much water can be allotted to um, neighborhoods or, or residents in terms of, of their landscaping. And so those are some applications of the research.